Congratulations on completing your journey. This ceremony marks an end of a 17-year journey for Mohammed Ahmed. Dream comes true. Originally from India, he's waited for this moment, seeing his wife and children become U.S. citizens along the way. Good opportunity, better life, freedom. And now I feel like now that he's a citizen, his dream has finally come true. Generations of Maria Nieves Andrade's family were also here for the big day. My grandmother, for her to do it at 80 years old, for her to go to San Antonio, take the test and pass it, and then be sworn in as a U.S. citizen, I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a major accomplishment uh, for her and as well as for the family. Everything's taking longer and is harder than before. Immigration attorney Paul Parsons says citizenship applications aren't given top priority nowadays, as other immigration matters have become more pressing. Previously, an average citizenship case was only taking about five months. Right now, they're taking more than a year, and the backlog is growing. For Maria, it took 14 months, which is why the stories of sacrifice and perseverance filling the auditorium today are all the more special. I don't think that we realize how hard it is to act, the, how hard the process is to become a U.S. citizen.